Right in the heart of Guangzhou, the Double Tree by Hilton offers easy access to the business center, historical site, and local attractions. It's only a 40 minute drive away from the Baiyun International Airport, and the best way to travel in style is through the Double Tree's fleet of BMWs, available to pick you up from the airport, train station, or anywhere else you are in Guangzhou. Best of all, every BMW is equipped with complimentary Wi Fi to keep you connected on the go. Hi. Thank you, nice to finally meet you. And welcome to Guangzhou. <laughs> Thank you, happy to be here. Absolutely. Now, first of all, the much is talked your about cookie. Warm double tree chocolate chip cookie. Thank you. And speaking of food, we have some fantastic restaurants. Yes, so I heard. Feel free to try them out while you're here. Definitely. And I can't wait to check out the room. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's check out the room. Let's go. How nice it is to arrive in a new city and have your hotel room set up just as you wanted it. With all the items requested, here waiting for you. Champagne, chocolates, fruits and flowers. Hilton's request on arrival can make any hotel room feel like home. They even asked me what kind of pillow I wanted. I'm surely going to have a good night's sleep tonight. The Doubletree even provides its guests with Britain's famous brand of bath and body products by Crabtree and Evelyn. Now let's head down for a quick bite. Here we are at Nodu, a noodle restaurant in a hotel that offers noodles from all over Asia. Let's see. They've got Singapore laksa, tom yum seafood soup, shrimp crab roll and pork wonton. I think I'll go for Tao Xiao Mian and Shanghai Soup Dumpling. With an open kitchen, Nodu is a great spot to observe the chefs at work and to grab a quick and traditional lunch. Whoa, that's quick. Well, if you're interested in more traditional food, just head out and walk along the winding alleys behind the hotel. And who knows, you might just find a hidden gem in Guangzhou. Just a short walk from the hotel, you can find one of Guangzhou's most famous snack streets full of local delicacies, both savoury and sweet. This historic street is a favourite place for locals to relax in the afternoon. Or head off the main snacking street through the winding alleys behind the hotel, where you are sure to find even more local specialties like yang cha or herbal tea, a traditional Chinese medicinal tea famous for its wide range of health benefits. is a great place to relax after lunch. Today, I'll be enjoying Chinese tea prepared by a trained and certified tea specialist. Mm, this tea is so soothing and fragrant. The perfect way to start the afternoon. Now I'm ready to head out into the city. But before that, I've got one more treat to grab. Look at all these colourful candies! I feel like I'm in Candyland! The Grab and Go Bakery is located at the entrance of the hotel and it is a delightful place to stop by before heading out. Oh, look at all these gorgeous cupcakes! Thank you! I couldn't resist. I ended up choosing a few different flavours. Well, I guess our next activity of shopping will be good exercise. A 10-minute walk from the Double Tree Hotel will take you to Beijing Road, one of Guangzhou's oldest and most famous shopping streets, recalling Beijing's famous Wangfuting shopping street or Shanghai's Nanjing Road. It is also an excellent place to pick up traditional Chinese gifts and souvenirs like calligraphy and other handicrafts. And best of all, this lively street is for pedestrians only. 
Key Mall is one of Guangzhou's most popular shopping centers with both locals and expats. The mall features a supermarket, local and international brands, a movie theater, and numerous cafes and restaurants. Guangzhou's newest and most upscale shopping mall is certainly Tai Ku Hui. This striking shopping mall houses over 180 world-class international and local brands, including Louis Vuitton, Burberry, Coach, and many more. In the basement level is Guangzhou's most beautiful bookstore, Fang Suo, the perfect place to spend an afternoon reading or chatting over coffee. Shangxia Jiu is a vibrant shopping center and a favorite among locals, and is absolutely crowded with shops and people. The street is home to more than 300 shops and has a stronger historical and traditional feel than the more modern Beijing road. Here, the stores are located in colonial-era buildings that uniquely blend 19th-century Chinese and European architecture. The sculptures that are located everywhere on the street showcase the old Guangzhou lifestyle. The neighborhood is also a great place to find some of Guangzhou's most famous dim sum restaurants, some in business for over 80 years already. Now, if all that shopping wasn't enough to tire you out, working out at a fitness center complete with pre-core exercise equipment, yoga room and swimming pool will definitely do the job. Or if you prefer, simply chill on the pool deck and take in Guangzhou's beautiful weather or head downstairs for some mahjong and snooker. Here are some other great places to enjoy the outdoors in Guangzhou. Just 5 minutes walk from the Double Tree will take you to Yuexiu Park, famous for its natural scenery and historical sites offering quiet rest from the busyness of the city. Yuexiu Park covers 200 acres, making it the largest park in downtown Guangzhou and is an ideal place to spend time strolling through the greenery, walking around the lakes or climbing to the top of one of seven hills. Highlights inside the park include three lakes, where you can rent boats or simply sit and enjoy the serenity. At the top of Yuexiu Hill is the Statue of the Five Rams, one of the great landmarks of Guangzhou, which is also known as the City of Five Rams. For the kids, head to the amusement park for some thrills, and then to the nearby ancient city wall built during the Ming Dynasty over 600 years ago. Explore all that and more close to Yuexiu Park. Xiamen is a historical island just 900 meters long and 300 meters wide in the heart of Guangzhou on the Pearl River. Colonial-style architecture and white tree-lined boulevards welcome locals and tourists alike. Xiamen Island has played an important part in Guangzhou and China's history, first as a port for foreign trade during the Song and Ming dynasties. The island then served as an important defense point during the First and Second Opium Wars. In 1859, the island was divided up and given to the United Kingdom and France where trading companies from eight different countries built stone mansions along the riverbank. The foreigners lived and worked on the island, building homes, offices and warehouses. Soon followed two churches, the British Protestant Church and the French Catholic Church, which still stand today. Today, the island retains much of its old charm with many colonial-era buildings still standing. We've done quite a bit for the day now and I'm ready for a boost of caffeine. Back at the hotel at the Barista Bar, I'm ready to chill over a bowl of cafe latte. Nope, you did not hear me wrong. A bowl of coffee. This is actually the traditional French way of having cafe au lait, espresso with milk. It's so relaxing in here, I just don't feel like going out anymore. But there's just so much more to see and do. The Guangzhou Opera House is an absolutely stunning building on the banks of the Pearl River designed to evoke two pebbles being smoothed by the passing water. Right across from the Opera House is the Guangdong Museum. The museum has over five stories and four large exhibition halls covering many regions of Guangdong's diverse province. An entrance is free, just don't forget to bring your passport. The Guangzhou Library sits right next door to the museum. Inside has an impressive 3.8 million volumes including a large selection of foreign periodicals and books. I'm getting hungry now and it's time for some food. I'm now at open for my buffet dinner.
one of Open's specialties is their nitrogen ice cream. To learn more about this in the buffet, we're going to meet up with the executive chef of Open. Welcome to Double Tree by Hilton Guangzhou. My name is Chef William, the executive chef of Open. So today I'm going to show you around our buffet line. One of the special features of Open is that we have our cold wall. That's where we feature our Chinese cold dishes, Western appetizer. We do have our whole seasonal fruits as well as our cut fruits over here. At our Western kitchen, you can get to enjoy our Italian pizza, our Western carving, our tapasnaki, and our ala minute pasta cooking. While over here, you get to try our hand roll sushi as well as our wide fry range of sashimi. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Be sure to save space for dessert where we have our wide range of gourmet cupcakes, puddings, cookies, and sweets awaiting for you. The Executive Lounge is a great place to relax after a long day. It is located on the 39th floor of the hotel and offers stunning views of USU Park. Enjoy it all over cocktails and complimentary Wi-Fi. For more spectacular views of Guangzhou, head to the Canton Tower or try out the Pearl River Night Cruise. Lucky for me, I have a cruise booked for the evening. So let's head out. After the sun goes down, the Zhujiang River Cruise offers guests a beautiful view of Guangzhou's sparkling skyline. The cruise, which lasts about one and a half hours, is an ideal place to take in Guangzhou's sights right from the river that made Guangzhou famous, including the IFC building, the Edda Bridge, and of course the Canton Tower. Guests can sit below the deck in the comfortable surroundings of a buffet dinner or head upstairs to the large deck of the boat for some fresh air and great photo ops. Start your Canton Tower experience at the Cloud Observation Deck on the 107th floor, 428 meters above the ground. Step out onto the glass floor and have your picture taken if you dare. Then, head further up to the Outdoor Observation Deck at 450 meters, where you can find the bubble tram for a spectacular trip on the world's highest horizontal ferris wheel with breathtaking views of Guangzhou. For those of you seeking a thrill, be sure to try the Sky Drop, the world's highest thrill ride. And to finish your sightseeing, you absolutely cannot miss the Guinness World Records' highest outdoor observation deck, the 488 Lookout. Here we are back at the Barista Bar, coffee shop by day and bar by night. You know what's special about this bar? Every month, they import a series of beer from a specific country. Craft and unique beer you might not be able to find just anywhere else. This time, I've decided to try the banana beer. Ooh, now I feel like hitting the dance floor. <laughs> what are the cool clubs around the area? Set in a beautiful historic building and spread across four floors, Hyper is Guangzhou's biggest nightclub. No matter what type of nightlife or entertainment you're looking for, Hyper will not let you down. Here I am back at the Canton Lounge, and this time with the head bartender of Double Tree Hills in Guangzhou, Gary. He's going to show us how to make an authentic piña colada. Now I heard that the piña colada was actually invented at a Hilton hotel, right? Yep. Do you know which Hilton hotel it was invented in? Oh, yes, it is at the Caribe Hilton Hotel in Puerto Rico. Yes. <laughs> I did my homework. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you have some potent recipe to show us. So, yes. shall we start? Yes, sure. Mmm, this tastes really good. <laughs> yes. Well, it has been a great day with good music, delicious food and superb hospitality. I hope your stay here at the Double Tree by Hilton Guangzhou will be as amazing as mine. Cheers! Yes. Cheers. <laughs>